Hi, I'm Matt Haywood. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about research that some colleagues and I from India and Poland have done on Asia's large predator guild. If you're interested in the methods we use, check out my previous videos, but essentially we're looking at how the abundance, body size, habitat use, social structure of prey affect their vulnerability to predation. There are four large obligate carnivores that live in Asia. A snow leopard like we've got here in the Welsh Mountain Zoo, the common leopard, the tiger and the dole. Prey depletion has been identified as a threat to these highly threatened species. However, for African predators, we found that not all prey species were equal, and it's the preferred prey resources that are most accurately predict the potential number of large carnivores that can persist on a site. We reviewed the literature on the diets of these majestic predators and the availability of their prey, and then calculated Jacob's selectivity index to determine prey preferences. Tigers are solitary predators that have been recorded as taking prey as large as adult gore, that can be more than two metres at the shoulder, or as small as a hare. Here, we reviewed the available literature on tiger diet and prey availability from 30 sites throughout Asia. We then calculated Jacob's selectivity Index scores from 3,187 kills or scats from 32 different prey species. We found that wild boar and sandbar deer are significantly preferred by tigers, with red deer and barasinga likely to be significantly preferred also with a larger sample size. Despite being regularly killed by tigers, chital deer are significantly avoided. That is, they are killed less frequently than we'd expect based on their abundance within the prey community. Prey body mass was the only variable that affected tiger prey preference, with species weighing between 60 and 250 kilograms preferred by tigers, yielding a ratio of predator to preferred prey of one to one, which is similar to that of other solitary felids like the common leopard. Snow leopards live in the rarefied air over almost 2 million square kilometres of Asia's high country, some of the most inhospitable landscapes in the world. Here, the climate and thin soils mean vegetation is sparse and prey is scarce. We found 25 studies that reported on snow leopard diet based on over 1,600 scats in association with prey availability from throughout the distribution of the species. Of the 29 different species recorded in the diet of snow leopards, they significantly preferred Siberian ibex and blue sheep. Preferred prey averaged 55 kilograms and the preferred prey weight range was 36 to 76 kilograms based on Haley Clement's new method of analysis. Siberian ibex, Himalayan tar, blue sheep and Argali sheep were the most important prey based on their frequency of occurrence in snow leopard scats. In contrast to Asia's other large predators, doles are group hunters. In Africa, group hunting by lions and African wild dogs allowed them to preferentially prey on species much larger than their own size, whereas solitary predators preferred species about their own body mass. We reviewed the literature on dole diet and found 24 studies from 16 sites from throughout the species' current range that reported on 8,816 scats and kills of 19 different prey species. Sambar, chital and wild boar contributed almost two-thirds of the food biomass of the dole, with sambar being significantly preferred. Although prey preferences weren't affected by pack size, larger packs do take larger prey. Chital deer are killed by doles in the frequency that we'd expect based on their abundance within the prey community. Sambar are at the upper end of the accessible prey spectrum, which is 30 to 235 kilograms, and sandbar are marginally above the preferred prey weight range of 130 to 190 kilograms. This is larger than that observed for tigers. We've previously found that leopards in Asia prefer chital deer, but the overlap in diets between these three members of lowland Asia's large predator guild is staggering. Historically, people have claimed that all these predators were generalists, taking whatever prey was around. Our research has clearly shown that each large predator has specific species that it preferentially hunts and it is likely that predators have evolved morphologies and behaviours that drive this preferential predation. Under an optimal foraging framework, preferential predation means that a predator will select a larger prey item over a smaller one, provided the risks and effort involved in capturing the prey are the same. Similarly, predators will select a safe prey item over one that is likely to cause injury. This information will allow us to predict the diet carrying capacity and movement patterns of Asia's large predators, as we've done for Africa's large predator guild. This information is therefore critical to the conservation of these magnificent species. 